Hello One. So it was a 346 the Epic Film Challenge. Jumanji, we watched this in Manchester. Uh, this is a great film that I enjoy a lot from my childhood. It stars Robin Williams and uh, it's about a kid who finds a magic... Um, what's it called? A board game, magic board game. In the 60s and he plays it with this girl he knows or kind of likes. And he gets sucked into the game. And then about 30 years later... Uh, a new family moves into the home where he used to live, where he got sucked into the game. And, uh, how did it tie in again? Okay, the, the, these two kids, their parents are, have, have passed away and they're with, I don't know who the woman is, who they're with, who's looking after them, I don't know. Um, uh, and they, they go to the house and they find the board game. And they start playing the board game and all this weird stuff starts happening, this Jumanji board game. And then they bring back the boy from the 60s and it's Robin Williams, he's grown up now. And um, they eventually convince him to help them finish the game, and they they've kind of joined the game that he started, and all this weird, creative, cool stuff starts happening, like animals and the stuff. The woman from the past also has to join in because he can't complete the game unless all of the players are in it. I don't know. If, yeah. Um, what can I say? Yeah, so Jumanji is kind of like a jungle kind of theme to it, so there's like a lot of animals coming into the real world and all that kind of stuff. It's a really fun film, so much going on, just like the board game concept is really cool and just a really fun kind of kids film. But watching it now, I also think like it's a, you know, it holds up pretty well watching it as an adult as well. Um, you know, and there's stuff going on for adults to enjoy as well as the kids. I enjoy it a lot. And yeah, my opinion really hasn't changed on it since I watched it when I was like 9 or something. Um, I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Really good kids film. Enjoyable. Fun. Imaginative. What's the uh, rating? Like, like a... PG? Yeah. 12? PG. Oh. Huh. Just PG. Yeah. Stop wagging your tail. I'm not doing anything. Um, if I was any younger than 11 or something, I'd probably be scared shitless out of this movie. <laughs> Seriously, it's, 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 I mean, there are funny parts and stuff. Seeing it now, being all grown up and stuff, of course, all, all I see is, like, the fun parts in it and how, like, oh, CGI, this and that, and, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> Uh, the line wouldn't look like that if it was made in this year or whatever, you know. Uh, but of course, thinking how old it is and stuff is amazing. Like the way um, the the jungle plant thingy that looks great. It looks actually amazing. I think the monkeys not so much. <laughs> but I mean, there's only so much they could do, you know. Um, Acting is great. I love that. Um, uh, is it Kirsten or Kristen Dunst? Kirsten Dunst. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I like that it's her playing in it. And of course, I love Robbie Williams. <laughs> Robbie Williams. No, isn't it Robin Williams? Robin Williams. So uh, the singer is Robbie Williams. So both of them are Williams. Yes, Williams is a common surname. No. Right, Robin Williams. I love him. He's amazing. Yeah. I love having the beginning. He 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 kind of still like, he's still in like his kid's state a little bit when he comes back home. Mm. Mommy, daddy, you know, and I also. Spoiler ending here, but I think it's really interesting how they have to live their lives all over again. Yeah. Because you're sat there thinking, whoa. <laughs> I mean, for him, everything will be different. But for her, she, she, she has to relive the whole thing again. The only difference is she doesn't have to be crazy. And, uh, of course, he will be in her life, but still. And how they, have to, how they wait all the way until... Um, those kids are old enough, or like the same age they were, to feel them again. But how they ooh, uh, make sure that the parents don't get killed on that ski trip or whatever. Oh. It's just, it makes you think like, whoa, if I got sent back to when I was 10 years old and had to live <laughs> these 15 years all over again, 
what would I do different? And then you think about the butterfly effect, because there are things that you want to um, change, but you can't change it because it will affect other things that are major in your life, and this and that, so I think about that a lot. But when I watched that movie, I was like, Jesus, that's more than just 15 years, that's like 30 years. Well, it's, it's, it's not even something that they even bring up in the film, it just happens. I know, but it's interesting, it's interesting <laughs> that I actually lived through the whole thing. And then I also like how w once they come back to their kid state, um, they actually say, I'm already starting to forget how it's like being an adult. Which means I kind of like, she said that, or he did, that they start to forget already, like it didn't no. take that long. Yeah. And then they, uh, they made a deal, but we'll never forget the kids and... What, you mean that they forgot what happened? No, like... No, she says, kiss me before I start thinking like, an, like I'm not an adult or something like that. Yeah, she, before I... For, yeah. Yeah, she and doesn't then, say I'm forgetting what it feels like or I'm forgetting thing. Well, yeah, but at least she implied, you know. Okay, okay. And then they m make a deal never to forget about the kids. Mm -hmm. Which kind of makes it clear that, okay, they will kind of forget how it, how it was like being a, an adult. And I, I, stuff. I didn't get that. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I think it's a really good movie. Yeah. Um, exciting. Uh, some funny parts. Blah, 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 blah. I'd rate it a... 8.8. .8. Okay. What did you rate it? 8. Thanks for watching.